I will call the Tangeville Parish April 8th, 2024 public hearing to order. Uh, there are two items on the public hearing. The first item uh, we'll, we will not have a discussion is this will be removed later on in the council meeting. There needs to be some uh, additional language added to it. The, the second one on the agenda is an ordinance establishing a 25 mile an hour speed limit sign on F Joyner Road in district number eight. District number nine, I'm sorry, district nine. Starting off real well here tonight. Um, so district nine, any comments on that? There being no comments, uh, I'll close the public hearing and call the council meeting to order. If you have a cell phone, I would ask you to either mute it or please turn it off. And invocation, I will lead us in the invocation and I'll ask Mr. Ridgedal to lead us in the pledge. If everyone would stand, please. Please bow your heads. Lord, we as a council and administration gather here this evening. We ask for your guidance so that we may make decisions that are in the best interest of our citizens. And as representatives of the citizens, keep in mind that it is our role to enhance the quality of life of all residents of Tangible Parish. So let us debate with that in the forefront of our discussions. But please keep in mind, too, all of those who protect us every day, our uh, first responders and our military personnel, uh, which at this very moment may be in harm's way so we can live the great life that we have in these United States of America. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Mr. Ri Mr. Rizzo. Face the flag, all veterans and active military render proper salute. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Jill, would you call roll, please? Mr. Sinagra. Here. Mr. Ingrafia. Here. Mr. Joseph. Present. Mr. Havis. Here. Mr. Richdell. Here. Mr. Mayhew. Here. Mr. Wills. Mr. Vial. Here. Ms. Hyde. Here. Ms. Seatat. Here. And I'll just mention uh, Mr. Wells is not here tonight. He's, uh, he's ill. Okay. Our adoption in minutes. <coughs> Some of them. Uh, motion by Mr. To Joseph and a second I'll by Miss Hyde. Would you call roll, please? Mr. Ingrafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Richtel? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Vial? Yes. Miss Hyde? Yes. Miss Seatat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. All right, public input. Anyone wishing to address agenda items which were not on the public hearing? There being none, we'll get into the parish president's report. Mr. Miller? Good evening. Good evening. Before I uh, actually start this, the first thing being the Roxy's Toolbox, I want to welcome all these students here. But uh, I got a, a, it was nice to hear them saying the pledge. I don't know if y'all could hear it, but yes. they're all out outside in the lobby and everywhere. All of the young people saying the pledge was pretty pretty impressive. Um, our first item on the agenda is the presentation of Roxy's Toolbox poster winners. And Ginger Tostate, you here? Okay, we're going to get them in. Uh, all of these folks go through the Roxy's Toolbox education um, program that we have that we do throughout the school system that Ginger heads up. And here come our poster winners now. And we're going to turn it over to Ginger in just a second. You're going to have to get close together like you like each other. I think we have a few here tonight. <laughs> right, so 30, 31? Jeez. Is that right? 31? Good afternoon and welcome boys and girls. So this is my sixth year for the litter class in the fourth grade throughout the parish. The schools that's being represented tonight is Trafton, O.W. Dillon, Oak Forest, La Ronja, and Independence. We have some schools that I have to go in the fall and in the spring because they have so many classes. So you will hear me say LaRange and Independence several times because we have to do them at both times. This semester I had over 300 students and I received a phone call last week. We will now be more in the Hammond area as well. So we will have more students the next time that they come. So anyway, um, I'm gonna let them turn around so y'all can look at, look at all their posters 
and none of them promised me they will ever litter again. Am I correct? <laughs> yes. All right, turn around and look at the councilman. Y'all look at the councilman. And Mr. Miller, they're so excited to meet you because you're the president. <laughs> That's all they talk yeah. about. Okay. Wow. Okay. One day they'll grow up and learn. <laughs> but right now it's okay. All right. Mr. Joseph. That's yes, right. And, and when, if you see anybody else, you going to tell them we don't live Because boys and girls, guess what? They help, the councilman helped me pick up trash on the weekends as well and sort it. Okay. Yes, a couple of questions, Mr. Chairman, please. Yes, sir. I just want to say to the students again, thank you all for being so little conscious. And uh, I serve on the, the uh, Keep Tangible Parish Beautiful Board with Ms. Ginger. So at our last meeting, <clears throat> she said that she was going to present you all to our council, which you all are doing tonight. So I challenged Ms. Genji. I said, I want to see just what you've been doing in the classroom by asking your <laughs> kids a couple of questions. Are you all ready for some questions? I can't hear you. Oh, all right. <clears throat> and look, anybody can answer these questions for me here. I want to know what in the world are the three R's? This is a pretty good answer for me. Recycle, what else? Reuse, and what? Reduce, now isn't that wonderful? Thank you, sweetheart. Next questions. Oh, I don't know this one. <laughs> How many lives does the box have? Oh! Seven, my God. You mean a box has that many lives? Yes, but our earth only has one. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got an A student right here. <laughs> you got one earth, so we need to respect the earth and take care of the environment, right? We only got one shot. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, and you answered by wondering, how many pounds of trash does each person throw away? Let's take somebody on this end. <laughs> how many? You're right. Four pounds? A day. Each person. A, a day. So there are a hundred, about 130,000 people in Tangible Parish. Mm -hmm. And if everybody throws away four pounds of trash, that's a lot of litter, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? My goodness, what if nobody picked it up? Ah, uh, right, well, you got that right, son. I'm gonna take you home with me, son. All right. <clears throat> what never goes away? Let's get some this in. Oh, okay. I didn't hear you, baby. Styrofoam. It never goes away. And you know what? There are, I've read with some cases where styrofoam is thrown into the oceans and um, the, the, the fish and the whales and the sea animals come in contact with it and it kills them. We need to keep our waterways clean as well. Look, All right. That's the very, hold that. Hold it up, baby. Turn around, let everybody see it. That's what we, the question we just asked. Y'all see that? Yes, that's right. Yeah, good job. And which school do you attend? LaRonja, good for you. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> this is one of my favorite here. Now, all you politicians, don't get upset now. Because <laughs> we have a habit of doing it. <clears throat> Snipe sign. What is that? Everybody answers at once. The snipe sign. The snipe sign. Remember, what is a snipe sign? Antonio, I know you know what it is. <laughs> Remember what are those what are those signs that you're not supposed to have out? Oh, you're never supposed to have those signs on stop signs, traffic lights, traffic <laughs> and very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and look. And sometimes when people are running for political office, they don't go, when they it's, they don't pick them up, do they? Give him a 
round of applause. <laughs> All right. Hey, Ginger, I think you found your next assistant. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a politician. Every week that I go to Trafton, I think I have found my assistant. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, a couple more questions. I'm enjoying this. Um, y'all know we have, have y'all visited our landfill? I'm sure you have. We have some it, going tomorrow. Oh, good. So, um, what type of landfill do we have? Does anyone know? Okay, what is it? A sanitary landfill. Sanitary landfill. Can you imagine what would happen if we didn't have a landfill here? What would happen? Trash would be what? Everywhere. Everywhere. Yes. All right. I saw a lady the other day. I didn't say anything to her, but I should have. But she looked like she was in a bad mood. <laughs> she threw some gum. Uh, just before you walk into Walmart and Hammond, I almost said, ma'am, you shouldn't. That's... No, I'm going to let y'all answer. Is gum litter? Wait, let me let someone else answer. How about that? Yes. It's litter, isn't it? Yes. I should have corrected that woman, shouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> we are next time. No one elects you, so I let her go. <laughs> All right. Now, last question. Some people think that, that, that the gathering, the picking up trash is the responsibility of council members, it's the responsibility of parish government, it's Mr. Robin Miller's responsibility, it's, he should form a team to handle it. But is that really our responsibility? Who, whose responsibility is that, sweetheart? The person that throws it out. Did y'all hear that, folks? Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank Good you. job. Give them a round of applause. Miss <laughs> Jensen, all of your kids pass with flying colors. Okay. <laughs> if y'all all look, if each. Oh, I want to yeah, recognize the teachers, of course. And before we, we all take a picture. Y'all kind of trying to get closer together. We're going to take a picture. And when before you leave, each of y'all get one of those Grab grabbers the and the little bag. Track. So they're all and, laid and out, let's, spread let's out for y'all. Let's see where our teachers are. Where are our teachers? Come on. Okay, you can hold on to it. Independence. Ms. Moore's from Trafton. Yeah. And, and while we're good waiting, job. Mr. Good Joseph, job, teachers. Mr. Joseph kind of alluded yeah, to it. Yeah, good job. I didn't hear you, Mr. And, Miller. And I'm not sure that all you, all you students will understand it, but our, our parents will, and everybody listening will. And Mr. Lewis talked about it, about who's responsible for the litter. And two of the programs that, I, that we, as the administration and the council were very proud of our, our litter program, our litter abatement, where we go out and pick it up, the training program that we do, and then in our animal control, where we pick up stray animals and take care of them and all that. Those two programs, we, as a group, spend two and a half million dollars wow. a year. And we're, we're happy and proud of those programs, but we shouldn't have to have either one of them. If, if everyone took care of their litter, if everyone took care of their animals, we, could have two, we would have two and a half million dollars to do other things with that is good. every year. That is good. So think about that when you want to throw that trash out or not take care of your animal, that there's so much more we could do if we didn't have to. But you guys are learning that and you're gonna help us as you grow up. We're, gonna not, we're not gonna have to spend that much money because you're gonna make sure that we don't. And we thank you very much for that. I tell so them all the take time a picture. they're the change. They can make the change. Uh, let's move this. Just moving it back so we can take this picture better. Oh yeah. Okay, we can stand up. <laughs> Get you good grab, job, everybody. kids. Good job, good job. Yeah, I did a good job. <laughs> good job, teachers. All right.
Ray. Robbie. Oh, that's right. All right, thank all y'all for being here this evening. I do have uh, one, uh, Mr. Melvin McElway. Where's Melvin? Oh, Mel, I'm, I see him sitting there. May I, sir? Would like to comment on uh, litter stuff. Melvin? Good evening, Council. <clears throat> Thank you all for allowing me the opportunity to come right after the children. The reason I wanted to was because uh, the President and I have sat down and talked about some things that the parish can do in the future towards what the kids are doing, and that is sustainability engineering. Uh, we're talking about the litter on the ground now, but just to plant a seed, you all look it up and we'll talk about it later. There are some things that we can do with the landfill to take what's in that landfill instead of it being a landfill, being a mountain of trash there, and turn it into a resource. Uh, I, ha I have visited as a master study student from Troy University with KW Plastics in Alabama, and they said, Melvin, we're having a tough time getting together with uh, many of the municipalities just to turn over the trash they collect to us, we'll take that. That's a lot. We mostly get it from up north uh, in the states where uh, it's mandated in the laws that they recycle their uh, trash. And they say that's the only places that send us and keep us in business. And KW Plastics is one of the largest recycling plastics facilities here in the United States, period. And they're not the only ones that do recycling. So um, the children, that was beautiful what they did today, and encourage them to think, encouraging them to think about sustainability engineering, myself being a civil engineer and also a retired military engineer, uh, and now studying project management and what to do to sustain the planet for the future generation. Uh, I w invite and encourage each and every one of you all to just plant that thought in your mind, start looking at those type of things asking some questions, planning some field trips, so you can see that in the United States there are other states and other areas that are actually doing things. We're stocking the pile, but they're taking the pile and breaking it down and putting it back into uh, use. I invite each and every one of you all to just think about that, and would you let me come back and speak with you that, on some more on that item? Thank you all for the time. Thank you, Melvin. Uh, I'll let I'll let Robbie comment, but I mean we were in a meeting last week where we talked about just that. Okay, yes. so there's ongoing conversations, and I know Mr. Miller's been talking about this for several years, but I'm going to turn it over to Robbie. Well, as we've talked about many times, there's no doubt that waste to energy is getting better every year, and we're waiting for that opportunity to turn that pile of garbage into energy and and revenue for the parish. So we'll continue to push for those uh, on a daily basis or every chance we get. So thank you, uh, Melvin, appreciate it. Um, next item on the agenda is the proclamation for the National um, Public Safety Telecommunications Week, which is um, coming up right now. And it has to do with the um, National Public Safety Telecommunications Week emergencies that require police, fire, or emergency medical services can occur at any time, as we all well know. And uh, when these emergencies occur, the prompt response of police officers, firefighters, and paramedics is critical to the protection of life and preservation of property. And the safety of our police officers, firefighters, and paramedics is dependent upon the quality and accuracy of information obtained from citizens who contact the Tangeville Parish Emergency Communications Centers. And the public safety telecommunications, tel telecommunicators, excuse me, are the first and most critical contact our citizens have with emergency services. And the telecommunica telecommunicators are the single vital link to, for our police officers, firefighters, and paramedics.
by monitoring their activities by radio, providing them information, and ensuring their safety. Um, the public safety telecommunicators of Tangerville Parish have contributed substantially to the apprehension of criminals, su suppression of fires, and treatment of patients. Each dispatcher has exhibited compassion, understanding, and professionalism during the performance of their, their job in the past year. Therefore, it be resolved that the Tangerville Parish Council President Government, all of us, declare the week next week of April 14th through the 20th as National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week. And I can tell you my past life in my technology world where I sat in that room and helped those folks with the technology, it can be uh, very nerve-wracking and very um, strenuous and stressful to people who don't do it. And they're as calm and collected as you can be while they're sitting there talking to all the folks that are in dire need. So uh, I can tell you that our folks do a very good job and will continue to do so. With that, I believe we have Ms. Martin here to receive this from us. Maybe make a comment or two if you'd like. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Brand new on the job, and we come and we give you something a special, a special proclamation. Good evening, Mr. Uh, Chairman and Council. My name's Anthony Summers. I am the new 9-1 director as of today. Uh, yeah. First day on the job, and I decided that uh, last week that it was important enough to get in touch with uh, Mr. Miller's office to make sure that we have this on the agenda so we can recognize the hard work that the telecommunicators of this parish uh, do. Uh, currently, we have <clears throat> Hammond PD, Amy PD, Kentwood PD, and the Sheriff's Office, the 9-1 telecommunicators, Ponchatoula PD, and Southeastern Louisiana University that all have telecommunicators that answer these 9 -1 calls on a daily basis and try and get us uh, to connect citizens with help to get their issues resolved. They are the true heroes behind the headset. They're, they're the ones that nobody ever sees and they don't get enough recognition for it. So I want to make sure that I continue to the tradition that I started or we started in West Baton Rouge Parish where I came from and recognized the telecommunicators of the uh, organization. I have with me today, I have uh, Teresa McDonald and I have, who is on the night shift. I have Haley Alexander who is on the day shift. I have Vicki Wilson and I'm, I know I'm going to butcher her name, Leslie Scramsher. Scram <laughs> <coughs> they're, they're all uh, staff from the communication center. So I, I appreciate uh, the, the, the time to get up here and, uh, and talk about this and uh, the recognition of the telecommunicators of the parish. You want to take a picture? Sure. Y'all come up. Y'all come, come up. up. My apologies, also I have Sherry Oliver here. Come on, Sherry. And that's all that's under the Parish Presence Report, unless y'all have any questions for me. That is Great. it. Thank y'all very much. Okay. Get into regular business. Uh, informational, keep tangible, beautiful. There's something in your packet here. Spring into summer, April, 20, April 20th of 2024. Councilman Sia Tat has that in there. Um, is Miss, I think Miss Ginger wanted to, okay, Miss Ginger wanted to speak for just a second. I was just going to let y'all know this. What, can you, Ginger, microphone, please. You got it. Got it. Okay. Got it. That it's the full week. I know you want to have yours on the 20th, but it's from, the kickoff is that Friday the 19th and it goes through the 28th. Okay. Thank it's, you. Thank you, Ms. Ginger. And so what we're doing um, here is you guys receive this in your packet, this lovely little flyer. We're springing into summer. And so to kick off uh, Love the Boot Week on April the 20th, we are encouraging all of our families to come together to spend that Saturday to just prep their yards and to get ready for summertime. We have a few little tips and tricks that are on that flyer. I'm gonna ask that you guys just help us promote this to encourage our homeowners 
to come together as a family and just get your house ready for summertime and that can be whether it's digging you know your ditches out getting those leaves raked up um, and so it's just a, a way for us again to encourage our homeowners to work together as a family and I even have that's my email address on there that if there are any pictures taken with your family your kids your grandkids please send those in and we will go ahead and put those up on the website so we we just trying to do something to partner with our families throughout Tangibah Hope Parish for keep Tangy beautiful very good any comments any questions all righty we'll move into adoption of ordinances and uh, item four, I would uh, ask for uh, a motion to remove it from the agenda. So move. Uh, Ms. Hyde, is there a second? Second. Second by Ms. Ciotat. And that's the one I talked about earlier. There will be some language changes, so we need to pull it. Uh, call roll, please. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Richtel? Yes. Mr. Mayes? Yes. Mr. Vial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Mr. Graffia? Yes. Okay, uh, item five is adoption of an ordinance 2409, ordinance establishing 25 mile hour speed limit sign, F. Joyner Road, District 9. So move. Yes, Ms. Hyde, is there a second? Second. Second one was in Graffia? Mm -hmm. All righty, call roll please. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Richtel? Yes. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Vial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Mr. Graffia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Right, for the record, out of four and five are both nine to zero votes. Uh, we'll get into uh, introduction of ordinances. On number six, introduction of ordinance 2410. Introduction of ordinance 2410 to authorize the parish president of his authorized designee to execute any and all documents in regard to the purchase of a movable property located in section four, township four, south range seven, east and a meet. And this will be on the introduction of a public hearing be April the 22nd item six seven and eight mr. Miller you have any comments on that uh, this property is right here on the corner uh, would that be the south east corner of highway 16 and um, the <coughs> courthouse road what's it called Bay Street, Bay, Bay Street. Uh, it's the abandoned building it was a state property uh, city of a meet ended up with it and uh, we're gonna purchase that and remove that building and clean up that corner uh, initially that's the first step so move. second first by mr. Joseph and a second by mr. Ingraffia would you call roll please mr. Richtel yes mr. Mayhew yes mr. Vial yes Ms. Hyde yes Ms. Ciotat yes mr. Sinagra yes mr. Ingraffia yes mr. Joseph yes mr. Havis yes motion was nine to zero item seven introduction of an ordinance 2411 ordinance to authorize the parish president or his authorized designee to execute a cooperative endeavor agreement and an active donation transferring ownership of CP Mitchell Park to the Hammond Area Recreational District in exchange for the promise to operate the park to provide recreational activities to the community. And Mr. Mayhew, that is your district. Yeah, I'm gonna make that motion, but I'm gonna speak on it first. Uh, when I first got elected, it came to my attention that CP Mitchell was uh, an abandoned park. And I got with the administration and Mr. Miller, and uh, he stepped up and we got it opened up and got it cleaned up and got with uh, Ryan Barker with Chapapila, and he, he stepped up and brought groups of volunteers and everything and got this park back opened up. It's on the southwest end of the parish, mm -hmm. and it's, it's going to be an asset for this area. So uh, I'll make that motion. All right. Is there a second? I'll second. Second, Mr. Havis, would you call roll, please? Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Vial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Mr. Graffia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Richtel? Yes. All right, motion passed nine to zero. The next item is introduction to TP ordinance 2412 in order to amend 10.04, extending the current contract with Amway of Louisiana and authorizing the parish president to sign the contract extension. Uh, this is going to the garbage committee. We had a number of discussions on this, uh, directing where we headed next year with how we manage uh, our, our garbage contracts, our garbage permits. Um, this will give us to the end of the, uh, the contract is uh, up in May the 1st, so we've been working on this a while. This will extend it to the end of the year. 
All the haulers already have permits till the end of the year anyway. So this would extend their contract. The existing, I guess you'd call it preferential uh, garbage hauler. It's not a, a one contract hauler. And this would give us time to work on exactly what plans uh, we're going to come up with to manage this next year. And we've talked about a number of things, talked about PFDs, we've talked about permits, we've talked about a lot of things. So uh, it's going to the Garbage Committee. Mr. Rizzo? Yeah, I have a question. Yes. I'm a member of the committee. I was, I, don't, I was running late at the meeting, so I wasn't for sure if you discussed this. Uh, there's going to be some minor changes for the remainder of the contract. And, uh, and, and uh, costs, and I was wondering if uh, Amways or, or us was going to notify the customers um, about the changes. That would be Amways, but okay. we, we can we can specify that. Okay, there is another item coming up next, and there would be they're requesting an increase in the garbage rate for the rest of the year. That item is next, okay, but this is strictly to uh, extend the contract till the end of the year, so we can get our garbage committee to manage exactly how we're going to take care of this next year. Is there a motion? I so move. I'll second. And second, uh, first, Mr. Original, second by Ms. Hyde. This will extend it through 1231 of this year. Would you call roll, please? Mr. Vial? Uh, yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Mr. Ingrafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Richtel? Yes. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Okay, it passes nine to zero. Item nine, introduction of an ordinance to amend TP ordinance 1904, uh, Amways of Louisiana contract, and would increase petition rate and price increase of $3.17 per month. And this would take place from now till the end of the year. Went to the garbage committee. The garbage committee did approve it. Any, any comments from you guys that were sitting on the committee? So how are we gonna notify Amways to let them no, they need to notify the customers. Do we need to put that in here? Um, yeah, they'll get a copy of the ordinance, and I guess we can. Um, I think the easiest way for them, I mean, they're going to have to um, notify their customers. I mean, that's, that's part of their business. Not just when they get the bill. Huh? <laughs> Not just when they get the bill. I, I don't know. Y'all help me out. Y'all yeah. help me out because we I didn't think discuss the last it. time they did an increase, they put it on the bill for several months to let people know that it was coming. So. Okay. But I think we made that effective May, correct? Yes, yeah. this is effective May, so I don't know. Um, can we have a conversation with those guys? I mean, can we handle it that way verbally? Hey, guys, we need to put that on this next bill, the next bill. Yeah, yeah okay, can we do that? Okay, I think that'd be the easiest way. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. On, for new, for, no, the increase is going to go in, if they get the contract in it's going to automatically start they, they will get this increase from now to the end of the year okay that's what we call now the what's the right term preferential preferred, preferred okay. vendor however you want to say it okay okay uh so that would go in effect till the end of the year and depending on what process we use i mean we've talked about a lot of different processes the one everybody's kind of leaning on and we, it's not 100 percent. but what we're leaning on is the requirements are one through 20 and if you meet these requirements you can pick up garbage in tangible tangible parish and you you would negotiate that price or basically set that price with your customers okay that's kind of where we're headed and i think that's where we're going to wind up but this is kind of an interim thing to give us time to be sure that's exactly what we want to do and get okay. it done right all right all right is there a motion on uh, item nine the increase i'll so move uh, miss high is the first is there a second i'll second it Sanagra, second. Okay, would you call roll, please? Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sanagra? Yes. Mr. Ingrafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Richtel? Yes. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Vial? Yes. Okay, item 10, adoption of resolution 2407, a resolution of the Tangible Parish Council President Government in support of the Florida Parishes Juvenile Justice Div District and Juvenile Detention Center, renewal of the three mill ad valorem millage, and I'm going to take the opportunity to read this resolution because I think it's an important one. A resolution of the Tangible Parish Council President Government in support of the Florida Parishes Juvenile Detention District and Juvenile Detention Center renewal of the three mill ad valorem millage. Whereas the Florida Parishes Juvenile Justice District and Juvenile Detention Center have been addressing the needs of our at youth and those risk 
and, and those youth who have entered the juvenile justice system for the past 30 years in the 21st and 22nd judicial districts serving the parish of Livingston, St. Helena, St. Tammany, Tangipo, and Washington. And whereas the Florida Parish Juvenile Detention Center has been recognized in the state of Louisiana as a model facility for detained juveniles and juvenile offenders, and whereas various parishes outside the Florida Parish's Juvenile Justice District, along with other states, have sought to model their program after the Florida Parish's Juvenile Detention Center. And whereas the Florida Parish's Juvenile Detention Center is nationally recognized and awarded the Barbara Allen Hagen Award for the center by improving youth justice for improving conditions of confinement for detained and juvenile offenders. And whereas the Florida Parish Juvenile Detention Center ensures that processes are upheld by maintaining atmospheres that are not physically, emotionally, or psychologically damaged, damaging to detained juveniles and juvenile offenders. And whereas the administration and staff of the Florida Parish Juvenile Detention Center strive to int introduce new educational and vocational programs to help juvenile offenders become productive members of our society by providing a high school graduate diploma and vocational training. And whereas without the Florida Parish's Juvenile Detention Center, a secure placement for detained juveniles and juvenile offenders would not be available in our community or as a resource for local law enforcement and courts. And whereas the administration and board of commissioners for the Florida Parish Juvenile Detention, Detention Center have been good stewards of taxpayer funds with a very fiscally conservative operational and management plan, and whereas the funding for the operation and management is derived from a three mill ad valorem millage from the five parishes served by the Florida Parishes Juvenile Detention Center, and whereas the 10 year renewal of three mill ad valorem millage will be held by a popular vote on April 27th, 2024. Now, therefore, it be resolved that Tangible Parish Council President Government supports the passage of the renewal of the three mill ad valorem millage and supports and recognizes the outstanding work performed on a daily basis at the Florida, Florida Parish's Juvenile Detention Center to ensure public safety and juvenile offender rehabilitation. On this motion this day, uh, signed by Robbie Miller, President, and David Vial, Chairman. And we do have a couple of gentlemen here from uh, the Juvenile Detention Center. I think Mr. Russell Sanders and Mr. Jamie Sims. Sims. And uh, would like to make a few comments. And I don't know the other, what gen I'm missing one of the gentlemen. Okay. All right, you have at it. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my name is Tyler Henshaw. I'm the director of facilities at the Florida Parish Juvenile Detention Center. Uh, we've, I've been there going on 13 years now. Uh, I'll let Mr. Sanders introduce himself. Yeah, I'm Russell Sanders. I'm the Director of Operations. I've been there for 30 years. And I'm Jamie Sims. I've been there for 10 years, and I'm an intake supervisor. Great. Any, any general comments you guys would like to make? Sure. No, we just want the support of the council. Just to, We appreciate your support, and you know, we provide public safety, and that's something that I'm sure the board believes in, and uh, we request y'all's uh, acceptance of the ordinance. All right. Appreciate y'all being here. Mr. Miller, any comments? Well, there's no doubt that you would never, uh, Mr. Dominic was here, that uh, I was very uh, in fa favor of this, of supporting this. The, the work they do is incredible. Um, we gave Joey the, co the, the compliment last week, but these are the guys that actually make it happen every day. And uh, we appreciate all y'all do for those citizens of our parish that need some help to get their lives back in order. And, and y'all are very successful at doing that. And we appreciate you. Thank you all very much. Thanks Thank for being here. Thanks, Thanks for being here. I'll so move on our ordinance. All right, we've got a motion by Mr. I'll second. Bridgel, second by Mr. Havis. Would you call roll, please? Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Mr. Ingraffia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Richtel? Yes. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Vial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Okay. Passes 9 to 0. Item 11, adoption of resolution indicating the intention of the parish of Tangipo, State of Louisiana, become a participating political subdivision in the local, Louisiana Local Government, Environmental Facilities, and Community Development Authority. It's a mouthful. Approving the appointment of a director to represent the parish on the board of directors of the authority and otherwise providing with respect there to as provided by Chapter 10D, Title 33, Louisiana Revised Statute 1950 as amended. And I think we're we're appointing, do we need to officially appoint you, Robbie, or y'all just decide who that is? Uh, I think they were asking for it to be me. 
All right, so I would say, and we're gonna be appointing Mr. Robbie Miller to that position. So is there a motion? Yes. Mr. Lewis Joseph is a first. Is there a second? Second. Second was Mr. Ingraffia. Would you call roll, please? Mr. Sinagra. Yes. Mr. Ingraffia. Yes. Mr. Joseph. Yes. Mr. Havis. Yes. Mr. Richtel. Yes. Mr. Mayhew. Yes. Mr. Bial. Yes. Ms. Hyde. Yes. Ms. Ciotat. Yes. Passes nine to zero. Item 12, adoption of resolution 249. Ordering and calling a special election to be held in the parish of Tangipaho, State of Louisiana, on Tuesday, November the 5th, 2024, for the purpose of authorizing renewal of the levy and collection of a one cent sales tax for a period of four years, beginning December 31, 2025, to pay the cost of operation of local government and to fund the parish road and bridge fund in order to pay the cost of road and bridge maintenance and improvements within the parish and further making application to the State Bond Commission for consent and authorization to hold the aforesaid election and further providing for other matters in connection therewith. So that is our uh, one cent sales tax that's coming up for renewal, very important to the parish government, obviously. Um, and it's on November the 5th of 2024. Any comments from the board? Mr. Miller, any comments? Uh, you know, for, for the most part, the. This not the most part. This is the main revenue source for tangible parish government. It's a single one cent, one cent sales tax on uh, sales and use in tangible parish. So uh, we do a, a, a lot of work with one cent sales tax. And we appreciate the citizens shopping at home because it makes a major difference and uh, is very helpful to make sure we don't, that we haven't had to raise that in, in ever. It's been one cent since it was implemented. So we uh, greatly appreciate the folks shopping at home and, and hope they all understand how important it is and how, how far we stretch it. Yeah, I, I'd like to add too, David, it, it, you said it was very important for the parish government, but it's, it's, it's more important for the citizens because that's, that's the work, that's who the work gets done for. And without that money, nothing gonna, nothing's gonna get done. Ditches ain't gonna get cleaned, roads ain't gonna get laid. So it's very important for them. Any other comments? I'll so move. Uh, Ms. Hyde was the first. Is there a second? Second was uh, Mr. Mayu. Would you call roll, please? Mr. Graffia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Richtel? Yes. Mr. Mayu? Yes. Mr. Bial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Motion passes 9 to 0. I'm getting to some board appointments, and we will have one amendment. We will amend the agenda for one, but the first two, Gravity Danish, Drainage District Number Five, approved reappointments. William Travis, first term, as serving an unexpired term, and I would expire July 2028. And Mr. Michael Gazzaroni, second term, expires July 2028. Mr. Sinagra, those are yours. I'll uh, make that motion. All right. First by Mr. Sinagra. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. And Graffio, would you uh, call roll, please? Mr. Joseph. Um, let, let me ask a question before I vote. Sure. As you all know, I've never had the, the village of Tangipahoa nor Kentwood. That was Trent's district. And I got a call concerning how can I get, how can we put someone from the village of Tangipahoa on the uh, district number five? I tell them, I really don't know anybody that's on there. Gia, do you have a list and when they expire? I do. Can yes, you sir. get that to me? Sure. So I can uh, see what I can do. They did have one guy, Mr. McGee, but he stepped, he uh, served his turn and mm -hmm. for whatever reason, they didn't reappoint anyone from the village. I'm not sure because all of them are um, currently okay. going to the meetings up. There are some going to expire soon though. I think in October, there's some expiring. Okay. We'll, okay. Get, we'll get, you a, get you that list. Yes. No problem. All right, then I'm asking to, we take the vote nine to zero, um, asking to amend the agenda. And this no, is. No, we didn't do it. Oh, we didn't oh, vote. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Richtel? Yes. Mr. Mayu? Yes. Mr. Bial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Mr. Ingraffia? Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to ask for to amend the agenda, and this is for a Keep Tangy Beautiful appointment. Uh, Mr. Darrell Sinagra has requested this. We're trying to get this done so we can get him on the board. And so I'm asking to amend the agenda for that. Is there a motion? This is to amend the agenda. I'll make, 
That motion. That's a motion, Mr. Snyder. Second. second by Mr. Joseph. Would you call roll, please? Mr. Havis. Yes. Mr. Richel. Yes. Mr. Mayu. Yes. Mr. Bial. Yes. Ms. Siatat. Yes. Ms. Hyde. Yes. Mr. Sinagra. Yes. Mr. Graffia. Yes. Mr. Joseph. Yes. All right. Vote to amend is nine to zero. Now I need a motion to appoint Mr. William James Donahue Jr. to the Keep T T Keep Tangible Beautiful Board. I'll make that motion. All right, Mr. Snag. And I second. First and second by Mr. Joseph. Would you call roll, please. Mr. Richtel. Yes. Mr. Mayu. Yes. Mr. Bial. Yes. Ms. Hyde. Yes. Ms. Ciatat. Yes. Mr. Sinagra. Yes. Mr. Graffia. Yes. Mr. Joseph. Yes. Mr. Havis. Yes. All right, pass nine to zero. Beer, wine, liquor permits, uh, legal matters. I just wanted to take a second to, to echo uh, what I think is everybody's sentiment about the Florida Parish's Juvenile Detention Center. Uh, as an assistant district attorney, obviously what I do overlaps greatly with what these gentlemen do. And I can tell you from the past 11 years uh, with my experience with them, these gentlemen along with Mr. Joey Dominic and Mr. Dominic Morales and the rest of the crew there, they do an incredible job. Uh, that facility is, is a just as vital to our community as any other facility or institution that we have. It, it's partly keeping the community safe, but it's also partly giving some of these young children the structure and guidance that they need to make these corrective decisions now before they become adults and they can't go back and undo what they've done. So I do think it's a very important thing, and it is a renewal. It's already in place, and uh, I think it needs to stay there. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Any comments? Anyone? All right. Uh, Councilman Privileges. Anyone? Uh, rest of council. Don't, don't forget their maps. Do you have yeah. ready for us? That's one thing I guess we ought to talk about. We have the, everybody's been given their uh, district map with, I guess you could say, a uh, land use highlight look. And uh, administration's asking, and we've had some discussions with Tracy and those guys to, you guys take a long, close look at that. You know, those maps are for you to doodle on, pencil what changes you request, what you want changed, what you want to stay the same. And then uh, Tracy and myself and the councilman will sit down and kind of take another look at that. And that's kind of the first step in this process of, of moving us forward. Uh, and we are in the process of hiring a consultant, uh, go, well, putting an RFP out to hire a consultant. So we're getting the steps moved to start really getting into the comp plan business, okay? But the first and most important thing is these, these maps you have uh, from a high level to kind of take a look at that. Yes, sir. David, are, are you, are Tracy and you guys going to set up a meeting individually with us, or do yes. we need to call you if we got a question? No, she's, we're, uh, once y'all get these maps, I'll start working on them, and then Jill's going to handle setting up some meetings, and it'll be Tracy and you, and I'll probably just sit in just as chair, okay? But, um, and then, the, like I said, doodle on them, take a look at them, pencil in what you think needs to be changed, and then we'll have a lot of discussions about that. That's the first start of the process. And, uh, and like I said, we're, at the same time, we're working on getting that consultant lined up. And then there's, I think I sent out an email the other day kind of listing kind of the steps that we would be taking <coughs> to do this. So it's a long process, but hey, we get, we're getting started so we can get there. It's something we really need to do. Any other comments from anyone? Yes, the Strawberry Festival is this weekend. Strader and I would yeah, love to too. invite you all to come to Punchatula to the biggest festival in the state. It starts Friday and runs through Sunday. And the parade is at 9.30 on Saturday. It's the can you wear, can you wear a purple over there? No, you are, no. you're not allowed. No. No. A bunch of tool with purple on. You wear your strawberries and you just wear the red. shirt you have on. That's right. Your red shirt. He's wearing strawberries for us tonight. You know. That's right. You can wear green and white. David, I know you have love. green. I know you have, you have some southeastern green anyway. Yeah, I guess so. I got one, David. He's got a red shirt on right now. That's he right. could wear that That'd one. That would be perfect. Uh, Mr. Joseph. Bridget, they tell me that's the sweetest weekend of the year. That is. Is that true? That's right. <laughs> um, seriously, I'm speaking from the heart and, and uh, personal information. There were um, three accidents in my family, and two of the vehicles were total loss, which means if they were total loss, you can understand the magnitude of that accident. Thank God nobody was seriously injured and nobody had to go to the hospital, but they could have lost their lives. And I say that to say this, I, I constantly get up when I speak to these young kids about applying for employment with Acadian Ambulance, I do it at my church, civic social organization, I do it. 
And Dwayne, I just want to commend your people for being Johnny on the spot, man. They were there in the nick of time, first aid, just as kind and professional as they can be. So would you please pass that word back to your staff and let them know. Whomever was working at Larangi area about a week, two weeks ago, they did a tremendous job. But I'm really focusing on getting people to apply for Acadian. My son is a military medical officer. And I told him I would like to come, or maybe you. We have a lot of soldiers who are medics, and most of them are already trained in that field. And perhaps we can get those kids, to, I call them kids, but they're grown, who can come and work in that field. But you want to come up and explain where we are with that to the group, please? Thank you, Mr. Joseph. Members of the council, um, EMS has, just like everyone else, shortages, and you're absolutely right. We've got some great programs out there. A lot of times we talk about that, and a lot of people in the community are thinking high schoolers. That's what we're after. But we've got programs, even for those that are not high schoolers, uh, they may be in a job and they want to move, but they don't see the opportunities where they can. And we've got some of those, and I just wanted to speak briefly about some of what's going on. We have a program internally at Acadian that may meet some of that for not so much the high schoolers, but people who are out in our work community now and would like to go into the medical field and have interest in that. And this is a, an opportunity for people to come on. We train them. We pay them like they're working. They go to school for about two weeks, as long as they meet that criteria. And then they become an EMR. And as an EMR in EMS, that allows you to work on an ambulance and basically drive and assist the other medic. But with that, in that, we then offer them the EMT program and we get them into a schedule where they can work and go to school. So the whole time they're making money while they're first becoming an EMR, then later becoming an EMT. We have that open right now. So if you know anybody, church members, family members, friends, anybody in your area that has interest, needs a job, uh, tell them to call Acadian Ambulance, and, and we do that. The site they can go to is becomeamedic.com, and they can do that. Uh, some other things we're offering right now, we have an accelerated EMT program. That's through our company where we're taking people, it's actually open enrollment right now, and the class is set to begin April the 29th. So anybody interested in the public can go to school to become an EMT, and then they have job placement with Acadian when, when they do get their EMT. Because it's an accelerated program, we accelerate it, they become an EMT, get through the class a lot quicker. North Shore Technical College, we're working with them. They're planning to start an EMT program in May, and that will be held over in Livingston at their Livingston campus. Then we have a traditional EMT program set to begin in May as well, so those are available. And then lastly, I'd like to say that we just got news from the Bureau of EMS and also the uh, Louisiana Rural Ambulance Association that there are grant monies out there where it's not gonna cost for books, tuition, or any of that. So all these programs I just talked about, the books, tuition, uh, work as you, uh, earn as you learn, we call it, all those are a lot of great programs for anybody who has sincere interest in becoming an EMS worker and working their way up through the paramedic level. And uh, I just wanted to uh, thank you for calling me up for, for this. And just if any of you have any uh, 
anybody that may have interest pass a word along for me and they can call the Cadian Ambulance Direct or just go to that site, becomeamedic.com. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll ditto what Mr. Joseph said. I had an experience several months ago with a friend down the street uh, needed some help ambulance-wise, and those guys were, I mean, I call them the pros from Dover. They were, they were really, really good, really, really. And, and I was actually on the phone when I got there. She handed me the phone. So, and, and the conversation, I guess this 9-11 conversation was really, as you were, they were talking about earlier, you know, there, what about this? What about this? It was really very professional, I'm just telling you. Very professional. So thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Anyone else have anything else this evening? Let's see what else we got here. No other councilman privileges. Is there a motion to adjourn? Uh, Mr. Joseph, is there, are there any objections? Hearing none, meeting is adjourned. Thank you.